Uh, Alright, so here's what all, well, here's what all of our little hatchlings look like. Yeah. They're getting three big. Them, three of them didn't make it. Yeah, we lost a couple of them. They stopped developing um, in the incubator. Yeah. So of the of the seven that were that seemed viable, we only ended up with four that that hatched out. We're hatching some more. So we're gonna see how that goes. Yeah, the fun thing about these ones is that all four of them are different. I mean, if you look, this one has yeah. got some fun feathers. This one looks like caramel, yep. but a frizzle. Yeah. The other caramel is not a frizzle. Like, like, yeah. Like that one. That's the only smooth one we have. Yep. So if you notice, this one has smooth feathers. This one, this is like a regular chicken feather. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about you. <laughs> Settle down. You're trying to this one. This one loves <laughs> attention. Oh my goodness! This one always wants to be the center of attention. Yep. <laughs> Go to your attention. <laughs> so yeah, you see how these ones, all their other fe these feathers are flipping out. These are all are all frizzles. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Cute, cute frizzle feathers. And then my favorite. Look at how cute those feathers Look are. That. Look at how cute those little poop. Just tap dancing, stinking everything up. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bomba Gardens. We just wanted to run through and give you an update. We've had a lot going on between all of the plants, all of the chickies, all of the Eggs. The, the eggs. All the, the caterpillars. The caterpillars. What do we have going on with our caterpillars? What have they done? In oh. the, and what have we seen them do? Um, we've seen them kind of probably like eating a little bit. The bottom of the container that they shipped in was full of food. So they've been eating away at that. Um, you can see that they've been really eating, chomping down on that. Um, and for a few days, they were kind of stuck on the sides. They built like a web look. It looked kind of looked like a web yeah, along the sides. Kind of you can still kind of see it maybe. Yeah, yeah like all those little webs stuff. on the sides. Yeah, and now you can see that they're in their cocoons and yeah. one fell. Yeah. Caterpillars were just stuck there. They weren't moving. And I thought they were dead. I was like, I was kind of concerned um, that they weren't moving. But I looked it up and I, I read that um, sometimes they do that. They won't be growing, but they'll be shedding their exoskeleton. exoskeleton. Yes, their exoskeleton. Um, and they said, if you see them not moving for a couple days, then be ready because they're gonna, they're, they're growing. Um, and sure enough, the next time I went in there, we had some huge caterpillars. <laughs> they were giant. They climbed to the top of the cup and they attached themselves to the top of the cup and they became chrysalides. So they did that about three or four days ago. They all went to the top and we've been watching them. What we wanna do now is we're gonna get their habitat ready. We're gonna put the chrysalides into their habitat now. So that way when they are ready to hatch, when they do hatch, they're already gonna be in their habitat. So you can see them hanging out here. Yeah. You can see them hanging. Yeah, we have more up there. And, yeah. yeah. That's the exoskeleton that the caterpillar shed um, when it went into its, um, in the cocoon. I wasn't sure what those were, but I looked it up and I saw a couple things where people already transitioned them into there and that you should be okay. Um, Cause they've been hanging out for about three to four days now. And so I think they're, I think they're hardened. I think they're ready to go. And this is the first time that we've ever done this. So I may be doing this completely wrong. I don't know. Doing the best we can following directions and looking up what we can to make sure we're doing this right. Cause we wanna get some healthy healthy butterflies. You can see we cut out a paper towel, put it in there. Um, and that's going to help protect the bottom. And we also do have one, one of them fell off. So one of them's on the bottom. So we're going to have to lay it at the bottom of the habitat. And hopefully that one will, um, will turn into a butterfly, but we're going to set that on the bottom onto the paper towel. 
Well, you can hear the birds chirping. Yeah, you hear them chirping in the background. We're gonna take the lid. Yeah, we're gonna put that. We're gonna take the lid off of here and we're yeah, gonna set it onto here, yeah, just going like this. I don't wanna to mess too much with them. I see like the, that's the exoskeleton. It said to move it away from there, but I don't really wanna mess with it. I think it's fine how it is. It's gonna be fine how it is. Just let me rephrase it. It's gonna be fine how it is. Okay. Hey, Mom. Mom, stop, stop. stop. No, 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 no. It's gonna fall. So you can see we have four ooh, we have four on the lid there and then one there um, on the side. And here's inside their food container. Blech. Looks pretty gross. In seven to ten days, butterflies should emerge. So we're gonna leave them alone while they're in there um, forming and we growing might, and doing might, all their stuff. It might take eight days though. Just so yeah, seven to ten. Seven to ten. We gotta get their outside habitat ready. We're gonna get some flowers planted so that way when they're ready and we release them, they have a nice food source outside. We're gonna plant some pretty flowers outside. Another thing that we have going on that we didn't announce, we put some more eggs in the incubator. We were a little disappointed with the hatch rate of the other ones, so we just opted to uh, to go with one more round. These ones I'll probably sell. I don't think I'm gonna keep them, but we wanted to hatch out just a couple more, just in case we have some roosters or something crazy. Our six baby chicks that are outside, they are doing great. They're thriving, they're getting big. We have a lot of warm weather coming up the next day, so I think we're gonna start transitioning them outside. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna candle our new chicks because we're at day seven. See if the, see how progress is going in there. Pull out any ones that aren't growing. Oh, it's an evil witch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's gonna start candling. We just wanna make sure we're going on the fat end of the egg. Sky, you wanna talk about the different shapes of the eggs and what they say oh, yeah. about different shapes of eggs? Well, it, it might not be true, but um, they say that if the egg is pointy, that means it's a boy. And if the egg is round, it's a girl. The last ones that we hatched out, we did what we could to make sure that all of them were as round as possible. We wanted, we looked for oval eggs. We yeah. didn't want any pointed eggs. So far, so good. These are all looking good. I, Anything that was slightly I pointy, but, uh, if it was pointy, we did not put it in the incubator. We got our caterpillar situated this morning. Introduce you guys to our little baby chicks. Um, we candled our eggs. We have 10 eggs in the incubator going. And I think that's about it. In about a week or so, we'll have caterpillars. About two weeks or so, we're gonna have another round of baby chicks. And hopefully by the end of the week, we're gonna be planting finally. Uh, temperatures are warming up. We have one more day. It's gonna be in the 30s tonight. Um, soil should be good and warm by Wednesday, Thursday. So we're geared up and ready to go for that. You guys have a great day. Like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.